Okay, everybody, welcome to another Cat Cart Creations video. And so happy that today's my day off. I just got a new job and it's been pretty good so far. Anyways, in today's video, we are going to be doing this watercolor painting of a sparrow girl. I was inspired to do her like almost a month ago and I brought the sketch of this painting to your guys' attention a few weeks ago, between two and four weeks ago. I'm not entirely sure, but you guys voted on Instagram and Facebook to see me do this piece with this color palette. Pretty excited and happy about this. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of um, color mixing and matching and the like to try and to get everything to come together smoothly. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to move this out of the way so I can use, this is the same paper that I'm going to be using and we are just going to swatch some colors real quick to try and make this girl a reality and we'll see if I want to do inking here in a little bit. I need to check and see if my gel pens are compa are compatible. Yeah, I think that's the word. Um, with the watercolors because I'm not entirely sure if gel pens, once they're dry, if they bleed with water but we'll see anyways <laughs> let's get on that so let's go ahead and pull up the color palette so we have a nice dark brown a it's kind of like a tap mousy brown a really bright and vibrant turquoise a like a desaturated version of that color maybe a little bit lighter technically and then a desaturated darker teal color so let's go ahead and get on that and see what we need to do so we are going to be using my travel kit um, pan set today so we are going to go ahead and just get some clean water and kind of put some in there and I think we're gonna go ahead and just get some I like to have some white mixed usually just cuz it's um you can use it kind of to help blend or lighten other colors you can also um, add more water to a given color that you're working with and that's usually really good so white's not really gonna show up I'm thinking we'll try and go lightest up and let's see here. Okay, that's a good color. Is that the only... I need to test and see what colors are on here. What are you? You are a nice black. And this looks like it's a nice brown. It definitely needs to be darkened up to match what we are going for, but I think we can probably work with that. You know, I think I'm just going to start with the brown since that's what I found first. Okay, and I think to get that darker tone, we're going to need to mix in some black and purple by the looks of it. I kind of do mixing as trial and error and color theory helps a lot with color mixing. Let's see what color are you? You are purple. Okay. I would say that is about the right color now. We just need to make a darker version, which I think I'm going to switch to a brush that won't hold as much water and I'm going to use a pipette to just put a couple of drops in here so we have something 
and I'm gonna mix same color again but with more paint than what I just did. What about you? Okay, it's a really nice green. I forgot how beautiful that green is. I used that for the Butterfly Girl watercolor painting I did back at the end of the Hobby Lobby shenanigans video with my best friend. That was a fun video, I really enjoyed it. That's similar, but it's a little bit more green tone. I might end up using that. And this last one looks like it's gonna be a really, yeah, this is like a really sky, like cornflower blue. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. I freaking love painting and such. And we'll go ahead and add that to all these colors because it'll be kind of the same variation of the same color. It's just one's a super vibrant turquoise, one is a um, desaturated turquoise, and the last one is a desaturated teal color. So. Also, if you don't know what desaturation means, a uh, quick summary of what that means. Basically, it's when you add gray tones to a hue or a color. And it's like by adding purple to the brown that kind of had like a orangey yellow, we basically desaturated this initial brown that we had if that makes any sense, to make a different brown. So, yeah. So, palette I mixed versus the original palette. I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think? And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to doing the masking fluid, because uh, there's a couple of places that I have on here that I want to try and cover up. So I'm gonna just put this up here where you can't see it. Shake, 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 shake the Windsor Newton masking fluid because it's cool. Plus, it also helps with application. Okay. So, looking at this, the part here under her boob and under her chin are the areas that I need to white out because I have the masking tape here. Hopefully, this will hold because it's been on the sheet for nearly a month and a half now because I started the sketch or at least the tape part of it uh, when I was still over in Indiana so from this point forward I think I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and do a voiceover so Jackie from the future will be with you momentarily. Hello there, it's Jackie from the future here and just wanted to talk about a couple of things that I didn't mention while kind of covering things such as color mixing and 
other little techniques and such that I mentioned. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was about the amount of time that I spent on making this project come to pass. The sketch probably took an hour or so and the total time it took for the painting was two hours. This piece was something that back in July I was feeling kind of inspired. At first it was inspired by the crisscrossness and thinking of gingham which kind of led me to the idea of a sparrow girl. So from there um, I decided what if she was like breaking out of a cage and that's kind of what I did here with the tape and the masking fluid is I kind of made it I guess it looks a little bit more like a window than it does a cage but I made the tape pattern so it looks like a window and it's almost like she's breaking out of this window and breaking out of her shell and trying to find the happy person that she feels she can be and take flight. And I decided because of that to title this piece Breaking Free. Another thing that I feel kind of holds a sort of um, symbolism to me. There's actually two other things, but we'll go with the first one that I just mentioned. I really liked the light effect that I did with the masking fluid because to me, the way that she's flying into the light and looking up and it's just shining down on her with such warmth and to me communicates hope and the white bird that I used masking fluid to kind of block out any of the watercolor that would go in that area, I felt was like a spiritual guide. In other words, this piece speaks of some form of spiritual or emotional freedom to be yourself and to just be who you are. Because I've had some problems myself with being okay who I am despite the fun bubbly nature that I sometimes do in these videos. I really love this piece and honestly I feel like this is a piece that I'm gonna keep for myself because I just love it and it has a lot of meaning to me. But. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and I will turn the time over back to Jackie of the video. <laughs> Bye! Now for peeling the tape off. It's so beautiful. And there we have it. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me as I painted this beautiful sparrow girl. Just going to bring her up here so you can see her. I'm pretty happy with how she turned out and the color scheme really worked well with it. I only used this turquoise as a pop of color because you don't want to overdo it with all five of the colors when you're going with the color scheme, but beside the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and also share it with your friends on social media to get this channel out there and because maybe you think that they'll enjoy this, this creation and this project. Also, if you haven't yet, check in the description below for links to my Facebook page, my Instagram, and my website. Thank you so much for watching. Now remember, stay inspired and create. Have a great day.
Bye, everybody.